Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And this week the sketch was chosen by Crystal. It's a Scraps and Inks Crafts.com sketch. Crystal is on their design team and I love, love this sketch. It's a sketch that lets patterned paper shine through but leaves room for embellishing. You can have one photo only or two photos as in the sketch, or you're going to see I'm going to replace one of the photos with probably a journaling card. Anyway, so I have here my whipped cream cardstock as my background, and if you look at the sketch, the sort of finishing touch type embellishments going from top right to bottom left, could be sequins, enamel dots, uh, little puffy shapes. I chose to just do a little subtle um, splattering on my background. And I used two shimmers mists, one colorings in Mandarin Mai Tai and one vibes in Mango Tango. And it's very, very subtle, but I do like that. On the background. Now I'm working with my How to Kill a Kit with Style sort of theme, which is all the colors. And as you know, I made some page kits at the beginning of the month and used three, two different collections and one uh, Mercy Tiara kit to make two page kits per set. So this is my second layout this month using the main character energy. And I went with a color, completely different color combination in that collection. The majority or lots of that collection is in these lovely blues and pinks and purples and quite bright colors. But there were these pages that were a little bit more in the golden yellows, a little bit of orange. And I love that. I love that when you can get a completely different mood and feel from a collection. So let's put this aside for now. And I've sort of pre-cut a little bit some of the paper here. Now I have one photo and it's a square photo as opposed to a six by four. And this was from Adela's 21st birthday. So I'm going to use that one photo. And then instead of another photo, I thought I would use a journaling card. I have this one, which is from the main character, Energy. And it's Beautiful Memory of a Beautiful Day, which I think or figured could also serve as the title and a little bit of journaling if Adela wants to do some journaling and I could maybe just put uh, a 21 or something up here in this lovely little sun. Or I have this one, which the colors might be a little bit more contrasting. Um, I'm not sure I like the sort of noted and there's a lot of journaling space here. I'm not sure that Adela would do that much journaling, so we'll have to see. But this one here, what I did, of course, is I matted it um, with my Bella Boulevard Besties in, is it Blueberry? I think it's Blueberry. Uh, the same way I matted the photo, so it still gives that lovely contrast. So let's put that there. We'll put that there. Now I have quite the large square here on the background as we have in the sketch, and I did... I think nine by nine. There we go. Let's bring all of this down here. We'll get this on the background and get that sort of centered, which is the way it is in the sketch. And then we can still see a lot of that fun little bit of splattering on the background. I used this gorgeous floral right here um, for the larger strip here. There we go and I'm going to pop that. Oops, let me see. This should go this way. I'm going to pop that here. A little bit higher I think than on 
this sketch. There we go. Have that popping here. And I cut this down to 11 inches and then did the fishtail banner. So there we go. And then this strip that I'm adding here, I just cut about just a half an inch off. And it is the background of this lovely sun, sunny yellow paper. And I'm making this one a little bit wider because I do want to bring out a little bit more the orange that is in the center of those florals. So let me get that down and I will put it the same way. As it is in the sketch. So just down below the fishtail and bring that over. There we go. And pop that behind. Okay, so there we go. So we've got pretty much the basis of the layout ready and done. So then the photo, the 4x4 photo would go here. And then I think I'm going to opt for this one and I'm, I'm just going to overlap it a little bit because I don't want to cut off Julia unless I put it over on that. No, I don't like it on that side. I want to do it the way, pretty much the way it is in the sketch and get that down. This needs to be a little bit higher. So I think we'll bring this down a bit. No, it has to be the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Bring that up a little bit more, sort of like that. Or do I really want that down here? I kind of think I like this better. Do I or don't I? There we go. You know, I'm going to put, I'm going to put everything askew like I do. It, it always looks better to me when things are askew for some reason. And I know Crystal does the same thing. So we always laugh about on certain things. We are scrappy twins. All right. Let me make sure I'm getting that. I don't, just a tiny little bit. Down a bit. We go sort of like that okay there we go and then we will put that here okay so we definitely have the beginnings or more than that actually a good basis for the layout there we go and now all we need now beautiful memory of a beautiful day I think could act as my title so I don't think I'm going to need another large title up here now one thing I want to look at if you look at the sketch in the top corner and under here uh, and over here there are some circular elements and I'm thinking that might be a way to bring in a little bit more of the navyish blue here that you know, we have on the leaves and that I used to map the photo, but I don't want it to be too prominent either. So let's see what I think I might do is use my punches and I do have larger ones. I have these in sort of the two and a quarter kind of but I think that might take up a little bit too much space. So let me try this. And then I would go in the yellow and orange. I think I might do one up top in orange. And a couple of the yellow. Let me see if I just do sort of that sun. Isn't that cute? Comes out perfectly. There we go. And maybe another 
orange. We'll have to see. Okay. Because what I'm thinking, you see, I could pop that there and maybe do the orange. And do this down here. It seems to go under here, sort of like that. And would I do the yellow or the orange here as well? Or, let me see, would I do, hang on, let's see whether I might do, because I definitely want, I think, the blue up here together with the orange. Yeah, that, I definitely like that there. Now, I think I might do this up here and bring the orange here. Or would I do this sort of in the contrast? I think I might do, let's, let's just see if that works. Let's take a larger, let's do the scallop one in orange here. And then we'll do this one. Let's see how that works. You see, this is what I'm thinking. So bring this over a little bit over here and just pop. Oh, there we go. You see, I think I do like that. Now, it gives me different colors. Bring this down here. I think I like that. Or would I prefer the orange up here as well? Maybe. I want the orange or the yellow, my friends. You know what? I think I like the yellow. I do think I like the yellow. All right. So let's, let's get these down. I think we can pop these down. I do like that. And I want that to come a little bit more over here. There we go. Let's bring the navy. I need to bring that over so it's a little bit more centered. There we go. This then I will be able to cut up at the top. Like that. Now you see this? No, I don't like it that way at all. I think I'm going to have it sort of overlap there. And bring that right there. And then pop this one. And this, would I want two? No. No, no, no. I might, I might pop a flare, I'm thinking, up here to sort of add to that. Let's pop that. In here over to the side there we go uh, and I wanted the orange didn't I yeah there we go okay so, all right, my friends, so let me see now. Let me go get my scissors. I forgot to bring them over. Okay, so let's cut this off, and then we'll see whether we want to pop this little bit anywhere. Would that look cute there? Maybe? You know what? I think I like that. Let's just pop that under there. There we go. Let's pop that there. 
And we'll get these out of the way. I think we're done with the punches. I think I'm done with these bits of paper as well. So let's pop these underneath. Now, oh, look, look, there's a flare staring at me right there that I'm thinking might be quite nice right there. Yep, there we go. Okay. Let's see, am I good? Am I still good in frame? I am. Uh, okay, let's get a couple of these. These are some flare from uh, my stash. So let's just pop those there. Sort of got that blue, it's got the nice golden yellow. There we go. All right, I like that. Now, do I want one up there or maybe a fun little puffy sticker? I don't want to bring in any of the pinks. Ah, how about this now? This is the exact floral that matches there. How about we pop that? Or would we pop it here? Pop that there. No, I think I like it up here. There we go. Pop that right there. We have something here. Now, would I want a flare up there? I don't know what, oh, let's see, would I want maybe that? Fun little rainbow, or would I put that here? No. Maybe bring in this yellow with the polka dots. I don't want any purple. These are just, you know, at the beginning of the month, I tend to just put a selection. I can always, of course, go back into my stash to get to, or maybe how about the camera? Would that be cute there? That might. Hmm. Adventures, love this, a little star. I need to do a little bit more. Let's see, is there anything? Bliss, would that look nice here? Always remember, this is not quite the color viewpoint that would be cute ah let's see what do i have here that's orange as well Travel. happy birthday that would because that is exactly what it was how about if i put that there that's a lot, though, doesn't that? That makes sort of that area a little bit heavy, doesn't it? How about if I put it here? Ah, maybe something like that? Hmm, not sure. It sort of fits better here, though, doesn't it? But then that really does make that a little bit heavy. Okay, let's, let's not. Uh... Hmm. Let's see, do I have anything over here that might be nice? A little tree. Put that there, perhaps. Geotag, and I think I need geotags. This is a red arrow. Hmm. Put something there. Okay, my friends, I think let me go off and get a few other things. I'm going to put this camera down because I do like that. So let me at least get that down. 
and then let me go rather than sort of fussing and faffing with you here. Uh, I'll go do a little bit of that faffing off screen and come back when I've got a bit better of an idea. So let's pop that right here. There we go. And that might be nice there. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, my friends, I think I have it. We're going to pop um, just... 21 and I have these these are Ellie Studio puppy alpha stickers and I have 21 there now it's black instead of in the blue but I think it it gives a perfect contrast anyway let me bring that over just a little bit there we go I might need to add a little extra glue on that there we go I am going to pop these this little arrow there. There we go. Pop that. And I'm going to pop it next to, so let's put it here. There we go. Pop that over there these out of the way then beautiful day and maybe adventures here there we go pop that there and then that gives uh, Adela a little bit of room to write if she would like um, let's see I have this little orange Sun here that I think might give a nice little contrast over here. Yeah, there we go. I like it there. Now, you see what I'm thinking is maybe we could put a little bit of food. Oh, look at that. Feeling all the food, friends, and fun. Perfect. This is um, one of the lovely sticker sheets sticker sets that uh, Scylla sent me in the gorgeous happy mail. Oh, there's so much in here. I thought it was two sheets, but oh my God, look at that. It's four. All right, so where did I see that now? Okay, so... There we go. I'm going to pop that right there. Food... Where would I put it here? Not up there. See, I find it's blending in a little bit too much. So how about if I put it, how about if I pop it here? Need to bring that a little bit more. There we go. I kind of like that right there. Okay. Food, friends, and fun. Like that. Uh, feeling all the vibes. Is there anything else fun that I might want to pop up there? I don't want to bring in any of the pink. I want a little something up there, my friends. Just a little something up there. And I don't think we're going to need an awful lot more than that. So I think... Let's see, how about if we just did recorded up here? There we go, like that there. We have a sticker there. Maybe I need a little bit of a word something or other down here. How about if we did, oh snap, maybe? Let's see, how would that look? There, yeah, I like that. Oh snap, brings in a little bit of the green. There we go. And you know what, my friends? I think, I think that is going to do it. Now, I could add, you know, pop another couple of little things. I have some sequins here, but I think I, I think I like that just the way it is. There you go, my friends. So, of course, as every week, 
uh, all my friends who are playing along will be linked down below. Make sure you pop on over to either their YouTube channel or their Instagram feed and see what they have for you today. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye for now.